right. Esau, get your ass. Okay. So that showed you you it was getting uh, uh, tired to you. This yeah. truth. So you had to spice it up <coughs> with that with that with that meat cleaver. Yeah, well, you had a meat cleaver, man. If he if he couldn't get the machete, he had an actual meat cleaver. Yeah, yeah, that dude's You bad, know. Man. Yeah, the rest, there's some more to this. Well, well, this is bad because this is them murder. Yeah, cause they, them guys, well, they are murdering because when you're teaching lies to the people, you're murdering them. Because you're causing them to be destroyed, man. The, the people that follow you. Debate. That's why you're coming up against us, coming on the comment boards. Deceit. Uh, ma uh, malignity. Whisperers. Backbiters. Haters of the Most High. Dis uh, despiteful. Proud. Boasters. Inventors of evil things. <laughs> the thing about the, the, the tribes... That them, the Gadites, uh, you know, that, that you guys, you North American Indians are not yeah. the Gadites. That's an inventor of an evil thing. <laughs> Disobedient to parents. Oh, and we're your parents. That's right. We are your parents. Why? Because you learned that you're spiritual parents. Because, like all the time, I always used to say, you guys, man, y'all didn't just wake up on your own and say, we're going to go teach the Bible and set up camps. Not uplifting ourselves, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai had us out there, set us up to be out there teaching on YouTube. You saw us, and then the Spirit got on you to set up camps, man. So we're your spiritual parents, man. So when you come against. Because yeah. We ain't never disrespected Masha, King Masha, right. or Arya. As a matter of fact, the fact that you know uh, King Masha and Arya and Yaikwab is because us, GMS, not Nate, not Degenerate Yohanna. Not uh, comfy, not um, uh, 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 bubble eyes. That's right. We were the ones that introduced y'all to the elders over us. That's right. That's right. I, I'm going to finish it up, Rhyme Love. Just a few more verses, right? Um, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural, uh, natural affection, impossible, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, right? And y'all guys, gonna, you're going to get put to death, man. Right. You're going to get put to death, man. The Lord's going to get you. Like Nate, I mean, unless he's a man of the Lord, but if he's not a man of the Lord, Nate, Yahana, and you guys, you, the Lord's going to get you, man. Yeah, and uh, just to piggyback, Paul really had a problem with this. Uh, with niggas that act like you. And so he repeated himself. And then I'm going to read Second Timothy. I'm going to start at 1, but the point of being 5. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Oh, that's the thing with Batak. He loved himself. He was feeling himself. Yep, you know. Um, lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, Blasphemer, disobedient to parents. See, yeah. Paul is repeating it. You read a whole different scripture. Yeah, that's right. He had a problem with this. Yeah. And it, there's obviously there was a lot of you niggas that were like this. Um, Kun. Okay, Kun. Come right back in. This is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. That's right. And that's the right thing to do. Oh, you're unthankful. You, you're not thanking uh, the elders of uh, GMS for, for, for all the knowledge that they gave you. You act like you came up with it on your own. Like you can just write an encyclopedia of the truth. <laughs> um, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers. Oh, that's the other thing. You're false accusers. We rape nine-year-old little girls. Yeah. Yeah, come on, man. Um, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the I, most I, high. Shabala, you said now nah, it's uh, you read traitors. They are traitors, and then huh. and, and the one I read is the covenant breakers, because the covenant, the covenant that they made was when they learned this truth. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, they made a covenant to teach the truth the right way. That's right. You did when you come into this truth, you make a covenant not with us, with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That, okay, look, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to be a stand-up guy. I'm going to push this word. I'm going to push the name of the Lord. But now y'all teaching other shit. 
So you just broke the whole covenant with the Lord, the Father himself, man. Yep. And traitors. So you're a traitor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You're a traitor to Yahweh Shai, man. You put him to an open shame. That's right. Okay, and you're traitors to us That's because right. here it is, you came up under us and you learned under us by way of the Spirit of the Lord, but then you just turn against us and then now we're just a bunch of niggas. And to go go back with the topic of the show, that's how you try the spirit. Just by you seeing seeing these things that these guys do, all right, it's, it's clearly evident. Nate Satan, you don't you don't tell tell everybody that you learned you came up under Elder Tahar. When this videos <laughs> with you under uh, Masha Yaikwa Ariya, Masha Ariya Yaikwa, all right, and this actual videos. Like uh, one video, one vi one show he did, mm -hmm. he was talking to Yahweh Sap and he mentioned Ariya's name, but he called him Ari. That's, that's that's disrespectful, man. So that so that's you you niggas, man. You disrespectful, but now you you guys out there, you other people that's watching and, and following along, you should be able to pick up these things. That's how you know that these guys they don't they don't got the the truth, nor do they got the oil. All right. No, no, that's okay. Did you want to say something? Well, even when David was going through his thing with Saul, he still never talked against the man. You know. Um, he said, let the most high deal with it. If you got a, a, a true disagreement, you still got to be a man of the Lord. Yeah. And you let the most high do it. And that's how David, the scriptures say things are written aforetime for our learning. If the, if the greatest king in Israel that ever lived is going to act like that, then that's how you're supposed to act. Um, verse 5, this, and this is a key point, and I'm going to jump down to verse 7. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. And you got turned away. The Spirit of the Lord turned you away. We don't want to be around you niggas. I'll jump to verse 7. Right. Let me say this too. And, and right, and, and so you other brothers out there, when you see these guys with this, you're supposed to turn the hell, get the hell away from these niggas, yeah, not man. not commiserate. If you, you get a guy like Bubble Eyes telling you to move, uh, uh, get, get out, we got to get out of Babylon. Yeah. Nigga, you're supposed to get away from a nigga like that, man. So really, in all actuality, and Yahweh Shai said it best, man, in Matthews, he said, let them alone. They be leaders of the blind. They both is going to fall into a ditch. So basically, when you fall into a ditch from following these false prophets, you got your own self to blame because we, we've been out here warning. We've been making videos, constantly telling you about these guys, exposing them, bringing out the scriptures. So you got your own self to blame, man. Yeah, and then you got a lot of guys that come on the comment board and they'll say the attitude is, uh, yeah, you got Nate saying one thing, you got Johanna saying another thing, you got Bubble Eye saying another thing, you got uh, GMS saying another thing. He said, this is too confusion. confusing. It's not confusing, man. If you're not of the elect, you're going you're gonna to walk in that confusion. But if you are of the elect, you're going to see who the, the, the men of the Lord truly are. All right? That's right. And just to finish this up, verse 7, ever learning... And never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And just as a as an example, like Sarge, like Batak, they had all these documents. They would go to all, all these documents. Oh no, see, I did research on this and this, and now I, I feel like the most high gave me the breakdown to No, he didn't. You were ever learning, but you were never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Okay? I got this real quick. I just want I got something to say, Saint, since nobody talking. <laughs> uh, give me Matthews uh, 13. He got to be quick around yeah. around y'all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this ain't checkers. It's, it's chess, baby. Um, Matthews 13. Start the uh, the t the tenth verse and read down. And I got a series of scriptures. D these are this is a uh, gr one one of a group of four scriptures that's going to say pretty much the same thing. And this applies to all of y'all, okay? Uh, this is the book of uh, Matthew, chapter uh, 13, verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that he hath. Yeah, now let me talk on that. The next scripture is uh, Matthew 25, verse 29. It said, it said uh, 
and he and he shall have more abundance but whosoever have not from him shall be taken away even that he hath now in the beginning all you guys had the same name of the heavenly father which is Yahweh and his son's name which is Yahweh Shai and if you notice Nate ain't teaching that no more but every time he'll blurt it out even Yahweh Shai blurt it out the same thing with um bubble eyes when you were at the main school uh you knew, you called on the name of the most high and his son but you changed those names up now you got these new guys which are old guys from the old crew uh uh what's this guy i call him methuselah huh mashaba, Mash uh, mashaba oh, and kawakab which he's down there in the in the uh in south america they had like a cable show with this guy the main guy looking like uh uh, John Legend with a Hebrew Israelite garment on, all right, like he running shit, all right, and they call that video, I think it's a two-part uh, uh, video series called Israelite Camp Banging, Camp Banging, and then, and then the guy made a statement, he said, uh, oh, oh, uh, Methuselah said, said, uh, that, 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 that this is a new thing, this is a new thing, now if you got too many breakdowns, you, that's knowledge so that means knowledge puff is puff is up that means you got puffed up because now it's all about love and then John legend said uh, 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 he said well look we don't even know if this is the correct Hebrew we don't even know if we can't even be sure that that's the name of the most high so that's that scripture it shall be taken away even that he hath all right? right and Nate you did the same thing man hey you know what that is like that's the prophecy and them niggas are fucking lazy man all right they're a bunch of slobs man this and is the book of Ecclesiastes. Was watch us right that you know bring it out, even that old ass runaway slave a mafia. Uh, mafia man yeah, uh, when we had the so-called split we were bringing in a lot of new things revelations yeah, and that mafia was like what's going on he said, y'all bringing out too many things. Y'all moving too goddamn fast. Why you got to change? I said, because, nigga, you an old-ass fool, man. Number one, you can't get this, man. The most I ain't dealing with old niggas. All right? He ain't dealing with old niggas, man. He called, and not saying that that could not ever happen, but the most I call you in this thing when you're young. The most high can make ex exceptions, but in your case of mafia, he didn't make that. Ex ex and we knew back then the nigga wasn't right, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. call him the yeah. runaway slave behind his back. He was yeah. just an old nigga. Yeah, hey, because when we brought out when we brought out the Cornelius thing in the oh, back man. room, yeah. we tried to get Nate. We brought him in the back room, right? And then Nate was like, you know how Nate is, yeah, yeah. looking like a black billy goat <laughs> hey, but this guy this guy uh he said i can't see it i can't see it and then here come this old runaway slave talking about close the book close the book he said i can i, I can see it you don't got to read no more and then and then and then nate looked at him like he had three heads right and then he said man you you, you don't see nothing man you're going off and then uh 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 uh, uh, uh billy grope called him billy billy goat McGruff called him. Uh, he said, "He said, look, if you go on a fast, you'll see it too." But then that next Saturday, we had a major council, yeah. and then he, he reneged, man. Yep. Yep, yeah. Not reneged, he reneged, man. <laughs> they, they did a spin yeah. job. I said, "Wait a minute, man! Mm -hmm. Didn't you say two, three days on Wednesday? It's here this Saturday. Yep, didn't you say Wednesday that you saw it? Didn't you say close the book? Close the book." You don't got to go into it no more. He said, I never, I ain't never said that. You're a and liar. I call him a liar. And I said, you a damn liar, man. Yeah, this guy liar. talking about, I don't like when a man call me a liar. I said, if you a liar, you're going to be yeah. called a liar. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 <laughs> How do you say it? I, I want to address this thing about Tahar calling me a liar. <laughs> there's nothing to be, there's nothing to be to address. Because we caught you in a goddamn lie. Yeah. Well, three or four days ago. And I even went to Nate and I said, Nate, didn't he say it? And then Nate was acting stupid, man. Yeah. yeah but Nate admitted it. Nate did say it. Nate did. He said, no, nah, Mafia, you said that. You did say that. Nate put him on the spot, too. But them guys were lying any day.